Hey guys, it's Brett. Welcome back to our channel. I'm here with some post burn reviews of Colonial Candles Harvest Collection. If you saw my first impressions video I did before I burned them, I was sent the Harvest Collection from Colonial Candle to review. And I did a first impressions video, told you what I thought of them, and I just finished burning them. I'm actually, I finished three and I'm, I have like maybe just a little bit left of the very last one, but it's almost pretty much done. I probably have maybe barely an hour left of the last one, but I had time to do a review today, so I'm gonna do a review. Sorry if you hear a TV in the background. The kids are home from school. I was trying to get this review done before they got home from school, but it's really busy with kids and I had a bunch of stuff I had to do today. I had to go to the store and I'd do all this stuff and I didn't get home in enough time to film this video before they got home. So I'm gonna do it now when I got a chance to do it. So excuse the noise in the background if you can hear the TV back there. I gotta do it when I have the chance to do it. So I'm gonna just do a quick review, post burn reviews, like I said, of these four candles. These actually aren't available online anymore. I didn't even realize that until I just went online and looked and this Harvest Collection is not available anymore. They do have a new Falling Leaves collection for the fall that just came out, I believe last week. Today is uh, Thursday, October 10th. It came out, I believe last week, the first week of October, I think. And then they have a new holiday collection that came out just yesterday. But for some reason, this Harvest Collection, it's not on the website anymore, so I'm guessing it's not available anymore. But I'm gonna go ahead and do my postman reviews to let you know what I think, just in case maybe they do come back up for sale. Or if they're for sale again next year, you can refer back to this review. Or if you're just curious to see how they performed, even though you can't buy them, I'm gonna tell you what I thought of them. So first up we have White Pumpkin. And it was in this white jar. I really like the jar. It's got little pumpkins behind the label there. Rose gold lid. These are all 14, I think they're 14.5 ounce, just like Bath & Body Works, yes. 14.5 ounce is the size of all these. So, White Pumpkin reads, a delicate blend of fresh pumpkin, juicy apples, and the festive spices of cinnamon and ginger root layered with vanilla and raw sugar. So I did like the scent of this one, but this one is definitely, it's not like a pumpkin, like a heavy pumpkin spice candle. I get pumpkin in there, but it's just, it's like pumpkin mixed with, I, I just get the vanilla and the sugar. I don't get a lot of spices. I don't get a lot of heavy spices. I don't get apples. It says juicy apple. I didn't pick up apples. I got pumpkin, but it, it, the ginger, the cinnamon and ginger root, it's a light spice, but you get mostly heavier on that vanilla and that sugar. The vanilla and sugar is really heavy in this. And then you get pumpkin in there, but it's not super, spicy pumpkin it's just a little bit of maybe i guess cinnamon ginger and you know kind of a light but it's it's like sugary vanilla spices in there kind of that vanilla and that sugar is really really sweetened up and it like calms down those strong spices it's a little similar to i would say it's more along the lines of vanilla pumpkin marshmallow from bath and body works that one's kind of a you know creamy vanilla sugary kind of a pumpkin which is a little bit of a light spice. That's kind of what this is, but it's not a dupe for that or anything by any means, but it's it's a little bit more in the veins of that, as opposed to like heirloom pumpkin for Bath & Body Works, which is super spicy and really heavy, unlike the pumpkin spices and things. It's not like that at all. It's definitely more sugary, more vanilla, more of vanilla type of a pumpkin. I did like it though, it was a nice scent, but it wasn't, it wasn't all that strong though. First, next we'll talk about the burn. The burn here, um, you can see, burned down all the way down. It did get a little bit of small flames. I believe I had a cotton ball this a couple of times. It burned pretty good halfway down, and then towards after the half point, got a little bit of, of puny flames. I think I cotton balled it a couple of times, and it got really soot. If you can see there, of course, this white jar is going to show the soot really bad. But this one, I, I kept seeing the black around there, and then I could see the flames. Sometimes they would when they were high, before they got puny, I could see kind of smoke come off of them, so I would blow them out, trim them a little bit. I would just trim like the mushroom tops off, though I wouldn't trim them super short, because some people think if you trim them, that will attribute to them getting puny, but that's not always the case, and not in my experience. There's been lots of candles that if I just trim the mushroom top off, I can still light them and they're fine. Now, if you trim them really, really short, then yes, yeah, sometimes you will get puny flames and we'll have a hard time pulling out. But usually with, with some candles, if you just trim the little tip of the mushroom top off, it's just enough to where it won't smoke anymore, but then it still burns fine, and the, the flame is still nice and 
you know, steady and, and a decent size. So I did trim it a couple times because of that soot, but then eventually it did kind of get a little bit puny. But that soot though, it was just, I was, I didn't really like that. That Towards the end, I almost was tempted to put on the can to warmer, but I just kept trying to trim them a little bit just to get that soot down off there. And then the throw on this one was, like I said, pretty light. There were, when I first lit it, I actually smelled it. It was probably like a five to six when I first lit it. But then, after a while, it, it was probably most on average like a three to four. It was just really light. I did like the scent, but it was just a lot lighter than I would have preferred it to be. I wish it was stronger. Next we have pumpkin sugar. And this one was, it was in the orange jar here. And this has a uh, pumpkins as well behind the design. Same lid. This one reads, a deliciously sweet scent that begins with orange rind and peach nectar. Next notes of pumpkin latte, matte chai, and sponge sugar are expertly folded in. Finally, whipped vanilla is added in for a mouth-watering finishing touch. So I did like this one. This was my favorite on cold. And I thought it was going to be my favorite burning, but again, it wasn't that strong either. I was so upset that it wasn't stronger because I thought this type of a scent would be super strong because usually chai and pumpkin spice scents are pretty strong, but this one wasn't as strong as I thought it was going to be. So I really get, it's a really good mixture of pumpkin spice and chai. I definitely get all those pumpkin spice, clove, nutmeg, cinnamon, all that stuff. And then you do get all those chai spices in there too. I got a good mixture of both of those on cold and when it was burning. And you do get orange rind. You get the orange rind in there as well. And um, what else did it say? Um, peach nectar. I didn't get any peach nectar. Um, pumpkin latte, matte chai, sponge sugar, yes. Whipped vanilla. I could get a whipped vanilla. Vanilla, it's not super creamy. It's not near as vanilla much as the white pumpkin. That one was really vanilla. A lot of vanilla in that one. This one wasn't nowhere near like that. This was definitely more spices than vanilla. But it had maybe a little bit of that in there but just mostly pumpkin spice and, and chai spices and the orange nectar. I mean the orange rind. It was really, it was mostly what I smelled. But like I said, not as strong as I would have liked it to be. This one kind of burned about the same. This one I don't think got as peony as the white pumpkin did. It kind of did a little bit, but I don't think, I don't think I cottonballed this one. I think it just got a little small, but it wasn't. It just kind of corrected itself a little bit on this one. But this one too got soot as well. It got sooty as well as you can see around there. Of course you can't see as well as you could against the white, but you can kind of see the soot there on this one. This one also, I could see the black smoke come off the flame, so I would trim the mushroom top, same thing as the white pumpkin, and I would try to get those flames down. It made me nervous, I just, because like I said, we painted our walls recently, and I just, and the ceilings, and I don't want that all over my ceilings, and it just makes me nervous. I'm just not, happy when a candle has that much soot around it. So the throw on this one was light, like I said. It was a little bit stronger than the white pumpkin. When I could smell this at the strongest, it was probably close to like a six and a half to a seven, but other times it's probably even down to like a five or so, maybe even four and a half to five when it, when it was the weakest, which I was so upset because I thought it would be better than this. The um, jack-o'-lantern pumpkin spice uh, pumpkin scent I had from the cobweb collection for Halloween. That one was really good. Even though I did have it mixed with the wax melts, these I don't think had wax melts with them. But if you did have wax melt, it would be nice. I, with the cobweb collection, I put wax melts along with the candle and that really enhanced the scent. These didn't have wax melts. They didn't send them with me, and I don't think they were ever available in the wax melts for this, these scents. So maybe if you did have a wax melt with this, it might have made it stronger. But by itself, even it was just not. It was a lot lighter than I would have liked it to have been. But I did like this scent a lot on that one. And then next we have Autumn Spice. And this is in a purple jar, the same lid. This one reads, Nutmeg and pumpkin spice meld into notes of fir needle, golden myrrh, and frankincense. So this one was different than what you would think Autumn Spice would be. It's not like real spicy or anything. Autumn Spice, I think it's gonna be a bunch of spices. But this one, you got a little bit of spice, but it was it had a fruitiness to it. There was like a sweet fruitiness to it. Even though there's that's nowhere in the notes, but it did. It had a fruitiness to it. It's like a like almost like a a spicy fruity. 
like a spicy fruit or something. Um, nutmeg and pumpkin spice, like I said, it's a light spice, just, just a light bit of spice in there, of nutmeg and pumpkin spice. The fur needle, I could maybe get just a tad bit of fur needle and maybe the golden myrrh and frankincense, mm, I mean not, if it is, it's way back in there. It didn't, that wasn't like a big prominent note by any means. I can maybe get a touch of fur needle, but I don't, but it wasn't like real Christmassy fur needle or anything. Just a hit of that. Uh, golden myrrh and frankincense, not the, that much. Mostly just a sweet, fruity, with a little bit of spice in it is what I got. I did enjoy this scent though, it was different. It's not like anything I've really smelled before. This one did burn much better though. This one didn't have any soot at all. If you can see, it's dark so you can't see, but I can wipe my finger in there and there's not really, just a tad a bit on there, not a lot of, of soot. Just a little bit of black, but it's not near as much as, I didn't see a lot of black smoke coming off these flames like I did on the other two, uh, pumpkin sugar and white pumpkin. This one did get puny flames though. I did have to combob because the flames got puny. It burned perfectly till I, after the halfway point, the flames got really small and I had to combob it to help it pull out all the way. And then of course, to help it throw better. Because this one was a little bit lighter as well. It was pretty light for the most part. I mean, this one was even lighter than those two to almost the halfway point. I'd probably say it was almost like a three, three to half and four, four at the most. But then, at the very last part, it started getting stronger, even in my open concept area. It got maybe up to like a six or so, even last night when I was burning it. This is the one that's almost done. It probably has like just a little bit left. It's not completely, it was still going last night when I had it burning, but it probably don't, maybe 30 minutes to an hour left maybe on this one. But yeah, it did start smelling stronger last night. So I don't know if the oils got to the very bottom of it or something or what, but it was throwing really well actually last night. Like I said, maybe like a six or so. It was the strongest I'd smelled it. I did like the scent. I just wish it would have been stronger through the candle because it, it didn't have as much soot. It did get puny wicks, but it just, it was lighter until the very end. It was a different scent though. I did enjoy that scent. And then lastly, we have whiskey and cedarwood. This is in kind of a, uh, kind of a pewter looking silverish. Uh, kind of like a dark gray, kind of a jar. I like that color, it's pretty. This one reads, notes of Tennessee whiskey mingled with lavender, hits of, hints of warm cedarwood and warm amber. So I enjoyed this one. Um, you definitely get the cedar and the cedarwood and the amber. And there's a hint of the whiskey, but it's not real boozy, just a little hint of that whiskey. And you do get lavender in there. I didn't get much lavender on coal sniff, but then when I burned it, I kind of got a little hint of the lavender. It's not a lot, just a little bit. Mostly it's the cedarwood and the amber, and then just a little bit of lavender and just a hint of that whiskey in there. But I would get a little bit more lavender than I would got of the whiskey, actually. But I really get that cedarwood and that amber. It's a very nice woodsy kind of a scent, if you like woodsy, ambery, cedarwood and amber type of scents. I did enjoy this. It burned good as well. I don't think this one got puny wicks. I think this is the only one that I didn't have cotton ball. Um, it burned pretty good. This one didn't have much soot either. I rubbed my finger around there, not much soot. No, not really any soot at all on this one. So this one burned good as well. Like I said, I don't think it got puny wicks on this one. So this was the best burning one out of all of them. The throw on this one too, a little bit lighter. A lot of these were just a little bit on the lighter side and this one, I did have it in the bathroom. I moved to the bathroom and then it I was probably at the highest, maybe like a five. At the lowest was maybe like a three. It fluctuated between like a three and a five. I had to put it in a small bathroom to really get anything out of it. And this was kind of the same as Autumn Spice. It kind of got a little bit stronger towards the last part of it. And I was like, wow, I'm enjoying it. Now towards the end, I started throwing finally. I don't know if these oils were settling towards the bottom or what. So yeah, I did like this one too. I just wish it would have been stronger sooner than later on this one. So yeah, overall with these candles, um, they're okay, but I don't really know if I would why I would purchase them. I didn't purchase them. They were sent to me for free to review. I don't know if I would purchase them myself or if I would even recommend these because they were, if they would have been, if they would have, number one, smelled stronger throughout the whole candle, that would have been better. And then if they wouldn't have had been sooty on a lot of those candles that got sooty, if they would have not had so much soot, and got the puny flames and then threw stronger throughout, 
that's quite a bit to say <laughs> to fix though but um yeah i was kind of surprised because the cobbler collection i did those i burned most of the way through i have a little bit left of those because i wanted to finish them during halloween but i never did have any puny flames with those till a little bit past the halfway point i burned both of those they were a little bit lighter though and i did um, they had like a light to medium throw, but I did the wax muscle with them and they kind of enhanced the scent. But they were stronger than these were by themselves. So um, I'm not sure why these were a lot lighter than those were, but they were a little bit lighter. Um, and then, like I said, the burn got pretty sooty on some of them and some puny flames. So yeah, I don't know if I would purchase those myself, but um, I'm curious to see... They contacted me, Colonial Candle contacted me and asked me if I would be interested in reviewing the new Holiday Stars collection that I told you about that just came out yesterday. So I did receive those candles just the other day. I have those, four of those from the new collection, for Holiday Stars, and then I have one candle from the Falling Leaves uh, collection, the Fall collection just came out last week. I have one of those candles from that collection. So I'm going to do a first impressions video on those again in the next few days here or so. And then I will burn those and hopefully maybe those might be a little bit stronger than these were. I'm curious to see how those will be. But those all have wax melts with those. So you will be able to purchase the wax melts with those and then you can melt them at the same time with candle and maybe that will enhance the scent even more if they are a little bit on the lighter side. So look for that first impressions video coming up. So that, is, but that is my thoughts of my post burn reviews on the harvest collection that isn't like i said it's not available online anymore but it may come back or maybe it might come back next year so i just want to let you know what i thought of those after i burned them so thanks for watching and i will talk to you all in our next video bye